Let's observe this situation. Many of us don't understand why dogs behave this way. Or, this owner is in this situation because he has a dangerous dog. This is completely wrong. This bad situation is due to an error by the owner. At this stage we are approaching an accident and most owners abandon their dogs or have a serious accident. This can lead to the dog being euthanized. To understand why the pit bull behaves this way, consider three points. First point. Hierarchy. The dog is a wolf's cousin. Before and even now, before being domesticated by humans in the wild, they live in wolf-like herds. There are very strict rules, including hierarchies. There are several ranks in this hierarchy, with the highest rank being the alpha rank. All members with ranks below alpha consider alpha to be the strongest and submit to him. They give him priority over everything and give him obedience to everything alpha wants. For example, alpha eats first. He is resting in the best part of the burrow. It's rooted in the dog's instinct. This is an example of a dog pack hierarchy. This pack contains two bulldogs, an adult lichen shepherd and two young dogs. You can see that the two bulldogs are quite high in the hierarchy. They actively and passively submit two young dogs. In all packs, the youngest dog is always at the bottom of the hierarchy. Whenever the bulldog claims superiority, the lichen shepherd intervenes to remind the bulldog that he is always on top of them. There is a very interesting point here. Watch during the lichen shepherd intervention. Bulldogs will try to dominate the shepherd by increasing their height. The shepherd will react directly to defend its position and maintain dominance. After being reprimanded, the bulldog took the initiative to yield. We observe it with the lower deer, the curved claws and the tail between the legs. We might think that the shepherd is the leader of the wolf pack. But it is not the truth. The alpha of this pack is the owner of these dogs. We will see it here. Observe carefully what happens when the owner blows the whistle. All the dogs stop what they were doing and return to him. However, the shepherd became the dominant dog. The owner called his name directly. The shepherd stopped and sat down in front of his master. When the master touched him, the dog bared its teeth. Some dogs will show their front teeth to show obedience. This is called a submissive smile. A submissive smile is a gesture of appeasement aimed at calming the situation. This is what the shepherd did here. These videos show us that there is indeed a hierarchy in the social life of dogs. If you have a dog, your dog will treat you as alpha. You must absolutely take on this role. If you have a family, you are responsible for keeping all your family members above your dog in rank. Many people have ignored or refused to believe this because they have the wrong mentality. The second point. Mentality. When visiting a dog website, I found that this is a conversation between two people. A person with a bad mentality said of his dog, My dog sleeps on the duvet next to me. But the bed is too small for both of us. He left after 30 minutes. A good-minded person answered him, I do not agree to let the dog sleep on the bed. Dogs live in groups like wolves. Only the dominant sleep high. Letting your dog sleep with you can encourage him to take domineering behavior towards you. It can become very dangerous. In the hierarchy, the dog should always be below you. The third point. Point of view. Things that seem normal to dogs seem dangerous to us. What is normal to us seems very powerful to dogs. Take this example. Take your dog with you when you go to the supermarket. You are attaching him to a post for the first time. In your absence, he will fight the leash, bite him, pull him until he realizes that he will not succeed. For a few minutes he will use all his strength to no avail. When you're done and you come for the dog you will release it within 5 seconds. This is a kind gesture for you. But he will perceive you as very strong and much stronger than him. Hear the testimony of someone who has a buffalo, not a dog. There's wild things out here tearing up a gate or something and trying to get through it. He can't get out most of the time. I can go over there and open it with one hand because I unlock it and I open it and he thinks I'm really strong because he might have been there an hour or two trying to get through that gate. But I go over there and I just do it like it's nothing to it and he really believes. He'll look at me and he'll go, wow. <laughs> I can grab him by the horns and he thinks I got him. 
you know I don't have them, but he thinks I have them. Oh, good Lord. This is where I'm dominant right here. They don't like their horns messed up. This is very important for the rest of the video. In fact, when you have a dog, it's easy to forget the difference in perspective. As a result, we misunderstand the behavior of dogs. To conclude these three points, this owner lost the alpha position with the pit bull. She probably thought she was doing well and did what looked normal, but the dog interpreted it differently and took her position above her in the hierarchy. It's never too late to stand above your dog until there are no irreparable accidents. In fact, the hierarchical position within the pack is constantly changing. Have you enjoyed this video? Don't hesitate to give your opinion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.